Welcome back. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by, once again, Kyle Bonsack, of course. Remember, last time we were on here, you talked about, like, you know, lifting, powerlifting stuff. And I know you've been crazy busy and all that, but what have you been up to? Yeah, so still powerlifting. Um, I think you're going to have to remind Remind me of my numbers that I told you last time in March. I, I think they're all little... dude. I, I, you know, I've been, no, that's happened to me too since March. So <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been, it's been insane. But, uh, yeah. well, but yeah. I think last time we spoke in March, I think I was about 210 pounds. And I think my numbers were 525, 425, and like 565. And now I'm about 221 pounds. So I'm about 11 pounds heavier. My squat's gone up 30 pounds, so at 555. Bench went up five, deadlift went up five, but I'm hoping I'll be peaking here again in 12 weeks and or eight weeks, sorry. And uh, yeah, hopefully the numbers will go up even more. So kind of talk about like, I know you haven't been doing any competitions or that lately because you've been so busy with your job. So time to talk about what else you do because I know you're in like this accounting thing and I know you've been trying to apply for different jobs and all that. So what have you been up to in that area? Yeah, I, uh, I probably started applying, you know, two months ago. And uh, I've been working with a few different recruiting agencies. And then also just a few, uh, few of my friends kind of gave me some recommendations as to where to apply at places they worked. And I've also been applying on my own. And so between all those, I'm kind of averaging, you know, at least one or two interviews a week and on a high end, uh, four or five interviews. Yeah. So like, what's the end goal in all? I'm like, well, like, what do you like want to do with all that? With my job? Yeah, why not? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I think definitely the the first thing I'm trying to check off is just more money. There's kind of a a base amount that I think I need to achieve that can allow me to, you know, get a house and start really saving and putting away money and then eventually uh, investing. And so until I get to that base amount, it's I'm trying to make some pretty aggressive moves in my career and really work my way up the ladder and improve my skill set. So you, uh, so besides all that, you've also been doing some other fun projects and stuff like the Legos and stuff like that. Um, (laughs) Yeah. I've definitely acquired a few more Legos. Um, (laughs) I got a few right there that you can see. I saw that. Um, Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, that, 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 that's a, ongoing grind never going to stop you know they're always going to come out with new sets so the collection's got to increase yeah does your girlfriend like the legos i can not say that she's a fan but you know we all have our own things that we like and so (laughs) that's what it is okay so the next question i have why don't you uh lift up your right arm yeah okay so talk about that yeah so so i i've been getting tattoo thing I've been getting this done the whole summer. It's yeah. just a variety of kind of sculptures and faces and whatnot done by a guy here in Minnesota, Adam Chiata. Nice. I even got the Michigan on my elbow here. Oh yeah. Nice. And uh, yeah, I planned this tattoo sleeve out in um, November, I think of 2020 and didn't have the first appointment until June 2nd of this year. And we had appointments every two weeks, starting from June 2nd till now. And uh, there's still actually one more session on October 13th. Are and you kidding me? Yeah, we just have to add a few more white lines and whatnot, and then it'll finally be done. But yeah, it's I got my first tattoo when I was uh, 16 years old. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just been addicting. And who knows before the end, I'll have this arm covered. <laughs> That's insane, bro. So, um, okay, let's take the, the the next few minutes. Let's let's get to know you. Let's get okay. to, like 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 really. This this is gonna be fun. Um, right. Okay, what's your favorite candy? Favorite like what what's your like your sweet kind of thing? If you if you. Eat? Ooh, can I do two answers? Can yeah, I do like w- one chocolate versus one like sweet? Sure, why not? I, I mean, not that uh, chocolate isn't sweet, but my favorite chocolate candy is a Milky Way candy bar. Okay. I feel like that's somewhat unconventional. 
Um, and then my favorite non-chocolate uh, candy is gummy bears. Nice. Um, what's okay. Are you binge watching anything? Um, yeah, I actually just watched, uh, um, squid game on Netflix, the oh. Korean TV show. It's actually like one of the top 10 in the world right now. It, there was a uh, nine episodes and I got clouded out in two days. <laughs> <sighs> So do you, do you watch this on your own or does your girlfriend watch this with you? I watch this one on my own. Um, but is there like a show you guys watch together? Yeah. The office. We just watched that one on repeat. I think we've seen it like five times. Oh, we're also watching uh, Ted Lasso, which is a British TV show. Ted Lasso is the greatest, th- greatest TV show ever. Don't, don't quote me on that. It's extremely good. We're on season two right now. So don't spoil it. If you finish season two already. I love Jason. We're only halfway through it. But yeah, Jas- Jason Sudeikis. And uh, yeah, he's fantastic in it. And we're really enjoying that one. I wonder if he got his date with Diane Sawyer yet. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. I need to get Apple TV. Yeah, we just got it. It's really nice. Yeah. That's, my, that's on the next streaming service I have to get. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> What, okay, name a few potential shows that you do, that you think you could watch. That I would like to watch that I haven't? Yeah, why not? Oh, gosh. I Honestly, I think um, I don't have a ton of, like, lists of, like, just standard, like, TV shows on Netflix, but I have a ton of anime that I really want to watch. No. Yes, anime is fantastic. I, I really want to watch um, Vinland Saga. I need to watch Hunter Hunter, Naruto. Uh, I need to finish season five of My Hero Academia. I really want to watch uh, Bleach. Uh, Demon Slayer season two is coming out. Oh yeah. The list goes on and on, never ends. I know, I, I understand none of this, by the way. Um, I don't think I'll ever understand anime. I, I think if, if you've never watched anime, I really think you should give it a shot. I have no. I have, my, yeah. my schedule is so jam packed. It's like boom, boom. You boom. can fit it in. Most of the episodes are only like twenty minutes. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Um, what's what's the most exciting thing you've done around Minnesota? Ooh. I don't know. It's kind of a tough one because obviously with uh, with COVID and the pandemic going on a lot of, uh, you know, big events, concerts, big venues and whatnot have not been available. Um, we did go to a Twins game, though. We went to a Twins game uh, with my old coworker of mine and his uh, wife um, probably like a month ago. And that was really exciting. Yeah. Um, but I think the best thing overall in Minnesota that we've done is uh, – Last year in October, we did a trip to Duluth, which is about two hours um, north of here. But it's about the same latitude as uh, like Marquette, Michigan. So really high up. And uh, it is just beautiful in the fall. All the leaves are changing colors and tons of trails to hike. And it was just a really nice kind of like getaway, get away from the public. Like, you know, you're just doing these trails out in the middle of nowhere kind of. Right. yeah, that was definitely probably the best thing we've done. Okay. So how so um, do you like the negative thirty degree temperatures or or maybe I'm just being Minnesotans are like man I'm, I'm just being nice so. I mean I don't I don't personally think it's too uh, much farther from Michigan you know just a few no, degrees no, colder. No, it's much worse over there. <laughs> well, I uh, I haven't minded it so far. Uh, most jobs have you know parking garages that are underground are. Uh, apartment complex has a parking garage that are underground so you can kind of go the whole winter just going between your car and uh buildings and never really step outside for too long um but we definitely have bought some extra layers and uh we're staying bundled up <laughs> so. oh yeah that's that, that's definitely something um what's the most interesting thing people don't know about you oh about me yeah why not well, we already went over my Lego collection. You know, you don't need to that's go over that of, again. That's always kind of a fun fact. Um, 
I wouldn't say this is like the, there's definitely a lot of people that know it about me, but you definitely wouldn't know it if you like first met me, but uh, I've tattooed myself before. That's an yeah. interesting concept. I'm never going to do that again. Yeah. In uh, college, a friend of mine bought a tattoo gun off of Amazon and uh, I was like, why not? And so I drew a light bulb on my thigh. <laughs> Well, I, I did a light bulb because it was the greatest idea I ever had. <laughs> the greatest idea you ever had was putting a tattoo on yourself. That's, yeah. that's interesting in itself. It's a story. Historic. So I said it's a story. <laughs> a story. Well, it's historic and a story. Yes, well, that too. Yeah. Where's the story kind of, and then, and then the story kind of leads to your right arm. Yeah, and then yeah, here I am now with the full sleeve. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Kyle, thanks so much. Let's have you on again sometime. But let's not yeah. wait six months to have you on. Again. <laughs> yeah, of course, definitely. <laughs>